In this video, we're gonna use the super pipe wall template that comes along with the Torino adventure, The Fugitive, which you can uh, get right now at patreon.com forward slash Game Gear Master. We're also gonna make a wall with a pipe using bits from a glue stick. So let's get started. First thing we're going to look at is making the sewer pipe walls. That's actually a part of the printouts that come along with the Torino Adventure of the Fugitive. And you can also see here you get some textures to use uh, for other areas of your build. Just start by gluing the uh, template for the sewer pipe wall onto some cardboard just like you would for any other template. And kind of set that aside to dry. And then cut out, kind of rough cut out the uh, the bits, the front and back for the sewer grates. And for this, I definitely recommend using Type Bond Original Wood Glue to glue this onto the cardboard because you want to make sure that this is very well attached to the cardboard. You put on one side of the grating texture. And then you put the other texture on the other side, making sure that it's going to be on the same area that you put the texture on the other side of the cardboard on. And again, uh, some type on wood glue, smear it out with a sponge brush, and make sure that's on there real well, and put that aside to dry. Once that's slowly dry, you're gonna use some scissors to cut out the strips of each one of the beams in the uh, grating. You're only gonna cut them to about halfway up here. You see, I'm only ha cutting them halfway up. And that's because what we're gonna do is after we cut these all, we're gonna tape them back together again on the bottom here. But first, we're gonna kind of twist them back into shape because the blades on the scissors have a tendency to make them curl, and this will make it easier to tape them all back together. And we're going to tape them back together with some masking tape. So just grab a piece and then kind of hold them in, in place with your hand and put the masking tape on as you get them positioned. And you could do that for the entire end there. And once you're done, you're just going to fold over that masking tape and make sure that it's well adhered to the grating. And then we're gonna cut the other end and we're gonna cut all the way up to the cuts that we made originally. So we're gonna have each strip cut completely separately from the white areas. And then when we're finished cutting these, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna twist them back into shape. And then we're gonna use masking tape to tape them back together on the this side as well. Just holding it down with your fingers, making sure the position's good. Adding masking tape as you go. And then fold it over to make sure that that's holding all those pieces together really well. And once you've got those two pieces of grating done, then you're going to cut out those white strips just by kind of trimming them off on the end there. And once you have those two pieces done, you're just going to glue them together using a glue stick. You want to make sure there's a good amount of glue on there that is really adhering well. There you go. Just put that aside to dry. And while that's drying, we can start making the pieces for the wall itself. You're going to need two exterior pieces that are pre-textured and then just cut out that middle bit there. Now, one difference with this is we're not gonna assemble the wall the entire way before we paint it. We're only gonna put the interior tongue piece onto one of the exterior pieces of the wall, and then we're gonna paint them. Why? Well, if we didn't do that, we wouldn't be able to put the grating in after we painted it, and it would be very hard to paint. So we just wanna end up with pieces that look like this. This is for three walls. We have exterior pieces that are alone, and then we have an interior piece glued to a tongue piece. And then we'll go ahead and paint those as usual and set those aside to dry. And by the way, you can make these walls without the grating as well. You'll see in some of the photos in the adventure that I actually don't have the grating in, in this piece. I made some with the grating and some without. 
But once uh, the pieces are ready to go for the wall, just trace the shape of the grating you're going to need using the template and then cut it out. And just put it into the wall and then glue the wall together. There you go, one sewer wall finished with grating. Next, it's time to make the single height grating pieces. These are kind of more of a decoration than a full wall. They're just the bottom part of the sewer pipe wall and you just trace them onto pre-textured foam like I'm doing here. And then you're also gonna trace on some of the interior pieces to untextured foam and then you just cut them out as usual and glue them together. And if you'd like to add a little bit more detail to them, you can go ahead and actually use your pencil to continue those brick lines onto the front of the uh, pipe piece itself. It adds a lot of nice detail and it's pretty easy to do. So to make walls with sewer pipes is really easy. We're going to use a cap from a glue stick. That cap from the glue stick is going to become the pipe that protrudes from the wall. And we use the cap itself to make a mark denoting where we're going to cut out the foam for the exterior wall piece. And it's going to sit in there like that. But first we're going to glue on the interior wall piece and we're going to cut through that as well because we want that glue stick cap to stick a little further into the wall. And once you've got that positioned, we're gonna go ahead and glue on the other exterior wall piece. Now I decided to put a little ring around the pipe itself to sort of make it look a little bit more built in. I did end up trimming off the right side of this ring because I realized uh, if I didn't do that, I wouldn't be able to actually put a connector next to it. So keep that in mind. If you, if you do put a pipe close to the sides of a wall piece like this, keep in mind that you're going to have to make some room for uh, you know a connector that's going to overlap a little bit. And then I just kind of added some brickwork to that ring that I made and a little bit of foil to give it some stone texture and a little bit of randomness. And that's pretty much it. And then you just paint it in quick coat like you normally would. Just want to say a big thank you to the supporters on Patreon, uh, especially our architects, Brian Yao, William Dellinger, and Don Sol X. Apologies if I mispronounced your names. Become a patron today and you will get this adventure as part of your Master Crafts Persons or Architects membership. Uh, so go to patreon.com forward slash Game Gear Master. So if you haven't already, you can get started right now on your Terreno journey by downloading the Terreno construction manuals at GameGearMaster.com. They are consistently rated five stars and come with a 14 day hassle free money back guarantee. That means if Terreno's not for you, no problem. You'll get your money back, no questions asked. Happy crafting.